Canon has made a significant impact in the professional imaging world with two standout hybrid cameras, the EOS R5C and the newly announced EOS R5 Mark II. Both models aim to merge high-end photography with cinema-quality video capabilities into versatile packages. In this comparison, we'll evaluate how these cameras stack up against each other and whether the R5 Mark II is a notable upgrade over the R5C. Let's dive in to see if the R5 Mark II and R5C meet expectations or fall short. The Canon EOS R5C and R5 Mark II share a similar body design, featuring weather-sealed construction and a compact form factor. The R5C includes a built-in fan for active cooling, adding some bulk to its design. Both cameras have a 3.2-inch Vari Angle touchscreen LCD, but the R5 Mark II offers a higher-resolution 4.15 million dot display compared to the R5C's 2.1 million dot screen. The electronic viewfinder on both models is a high-resolution 5.76 million dot OLED. A key difference is the R5C's dedicated video, photo mode switch, which completely changes the camera's interface for specialized photo and video settings. The R5 Mark II, on the other hand, features a more unified interface that integrates both modes seamlessly. Both the R5C and R5 Mark II are equipped with a 45-megapixel full-frame CMOS sensor, but the R5 Mark II introduces some advancements. The new stack, Back illuminated sensor design enables faster readout speeds and improved performance. This new sensor works in conjunction with Canon's latest DIGIC accelerator processor, complementing the DIGICX processor found in both models. While the R5C uses the same sensor as the original R5, which already delivered exceptional image quality, the R5 Mark II's updated sensor promises better performance, especially in low light conditions. Both cameras have a native ISO range of 151,200, but the R5 Mark II introduces neural network noise reduction, a deep learning-based technology for cleaner images at higher ISO settings. Additionally, the R5 Mark II features in camera upscaling, an AI-powered tool that can create 179 megapixel images by doubling the horizontal and vertical pixel count. This feature offers greater flexibility for large prints or detailed post-processing, making it a valuable tool for high-resolution work. Both cameras utilize Canon's dual-pixel CMOS AF system, known for its speed and accuracy. The R5 Mark II enhances this with advanced deep learning-based subject detection and tracking. While the R5C already provided impressive subject detection for people, animals, and vehicles, the R5 Mark II improves upon this with better algorithms capable of tracking heads, eyes, upper bodies, and joint structures. It can even track balls in certain sports scenarios and identify additional persons beyond the main subject. The R5 Mark II also includes the Action Priority menu for still photos, which can detect specific sports actions and ball positions for sports like soccer, basketball, and volleyball. It inherits and refines the Eye Control Focus feature from the EOS R3, allowing focus point selection simply by looking through the viewfinder. This version boasts nearly double the detection frame rate thanks to improved optics and detection algorithms, making it a game-changer for dynamic shooting environments. The R5 Mark II significantly advances burst shooting capabilities. It can capture full-resolution RAW images at up to 30 frames per second FPS, using the electronic shutter, compared to the R5C's 20 FPS. Both cameras support up to 12 FPS with the mechanical shutter. A new feature in the R5 Mark II is pre-continuous shooting, which buffers up to 15 frames, about half a second, before the shutter is fully pressed. This feature is ideal for capturing split-second moments that might otherwise be missed, enhancing its utility for action photography. Both the R5C and R5 Mark II are strong contenders in video recording, but they differ in some key aspects. The R5C is designed with a strong focus on video, featuring a dedicated video switch that transforms it into a full cinema EOS system. The R5 Mark II offers a more balanced approach, excelling in both photo and video. Both cameras can record 8K RAW video internally, but the R5 Mark II enhances this with 8K 60p recording, 
while the R5C supports 8K 30p in standard mode and 8K 60p with external power. Both models support 4K 120p recording for slow motion footage and Canon Log 3 for better dynamic range and color grading. The R5C provides additional video features like waveform monitors, a false color display, and a multi-function shoe for XLR adapters. The R5C's active cooling system allows for unlimited recording times in most modes, whereas the R5 Mark II has recording time limits, typically around 120 minutes for 4K 60 page however. Canon offers optional battery grips for the R5 Mark II, including one with a cooling fan to extend video recording times. Both cameras feature in body image stabilization IBIS, but the R5 Mark II has some improvements. It offers up to 8.5 stops of shake correction in the center of the frame and 7.5 stops at the edges when used with compatible lenses, a slight enhancement over the R5C's 8 stops. The R5 Mark II also introduces enhanced coordinated control image stabilization, combining optical, sensor shift, and digital is for steadier handheld shooting, particularly useful for video. Both the R5C and R5 Mark II come with dual memory card slots 1CF Express Type B and 1US 2SD. However, the R5 Mark II introduces Wi-Fi 6E, Wi-Fi 6 support for faster wireless communication and broader frequency bands. The R5 Mark II uses a new, higher capacity LPE 6P battery, necessary for powering its advanced features like 8K 60P video and 30fps continuous shooting. It is also compatible with the older LPE 6N and LPE 6NH batteries, though some high-end features may be limited. Canon has introduced three optional battery grips for the R5 Mark II, including two with a 2.5G base T Ethernet interface for fast, secure wired connections. This could be advantageous for professionals needing quick file transfers or tethered shooting in studio settings. Choosing between the R5 Mark II and the R5C depends on individual needs and shooting styles. The R5 Mark II offers a well-rounded hybrid solution with strong performance in both photo and video, while the R5C is more tailored to video production with additional features and extended recording capabilities. Both cameras represent the pinnacle of hybrid imaging technology. The R5 Mark II's advancements in autofocus, continuous shooting, and image quality make it a compelling choice for those seeking versatility in both photography and video. The R5C remains a robust option for dedicated video work. Ultimately, whether the R5 Mark II is worth the upgrade will depend on your specific needs, but it is undeniably a powerful and versatile tool pushing the boundaries of hybrid imaging. Thanks for watching.